Hey you two, this is Jaden Storm coming at you from Team Shadow Strike, and I have another deck profile for you. So one thing I want to quickly mention real quick is um, I no longer um, have one of my decks. I traded one of my decks away to a good friend of mine named Cody. He uh, was tired of playing uh, Link Joker, so he traded me uh, his Link Joker cards for my uh, uh, completed version of uh, Romeo Reverse. And uh, so... We did that, and now I have a new Link Joker deck profile here for you guys. Um, now, as you guys know, my current deck that I'm playing in the meta in almost all tournament play is Chaos Breaker Dragon, because he is one of my favorite cards ever, because he fits he fits my play style to a T. Um, and there was one thing a couple of people said to me, was like, oh, so you just use Nebula Lord Dragon just kind of as a you know, a thing to throw away until uh, Chaos Breaker came along? And the answer is no. I, ha I I really like Nebula Lord Dragon. I think he's a really cool card and I'm done, come, done used properly. I think he's one of the best cards there is, uh, especially in Link Joker and even in, dare I say, uh, his nation. I really think uh, Nebula is a very, very dangerous card when used properly. Um, but it, it, Nebula is, it, Nebula like Chaos Breaker Dragon in any Link Joker deck, any true Link Joker player, you know, you have to know how to use the deck properly or the deck just will not work for you. It has to be, it has to fit your play style or you have to adjust to fit the way the deck wants to be played. Um, I know that sounds very weird, but that's the best way that I can describe it. So this is, um, an updated Nebula Lord Dragon deck because I did miss playing it so... Um, the reason I did the trade is so I could put Nebula Lord Dragon back together, and I got some badass-looking sleeves for it that look like dragon scales. Um, so, <clears throat> here we go. This is a updated Link Joker Nebula Lord Dragon deck. The starter for the deck is Starvader Dusttail Unicorn. As we all know, his ability is, is when he's on the rear guard and your opponent controls a locked unit, you may counterblast one, move it into the soul, and lock another unit. But there is one thing I am doing different with this deck. I am playing two copies of Dusttail Unicorn. Um, this is just too good a card. I think you can play two and get away with it. Um, it was something I tested early when I was u originally using Nebula, um, right after set 12 came out, where my main two decks of choice were Revengers and Nebula. Um, and it worked out well for me, so I'm going to go back to it. <clears throat> and then for the triggers, four copies of Soldat and four copies of Meteor Liger for eight crit. Four copies of Nebula Captor for four draw, and four copies of Stellar Garage, the heal trigger. Now, people have asked, well, why don't you play stand triggers? Because with Nebula's break ride and his limit break, he gives your two front row units a huge boost. Doesn't that make sense? And the answer is absolutely. If you want to play stand triggers, you are more than welcome to. I just... It, I, I just don't think it would work out for the way that I want to play the deck. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I did play test it once, guys. I just didn't like it. Um, there are people who do, and if the, and if you like to play Nebula that way, that is definitely your choice, and I support it. Um, it's just not for me. Grade ones. Four copies of Barrier Starvator Prometheum, the Link Joker, perfect. Four copies of Prison Gate Starvader Palladium, one of the best Link Joker cards there is because um, it allows you to prolong the lock. Three copies of Demon Star Claw Vader Lanthanum. This is one of the best cards that Link Joker has because each time a unit is locked, he gains 2,000 power. And especially in a Nebula Lord deck, you can get him up pretty high. And then I'm also playing two copies of Hollow Twin Blader Binary Star. It's our simple Link Joker uh, 8K booster. Grade twos. We're playing four copies of Unrivaled Star Vader Radon. So just a 12k attacker for Link Joker. You know, amazing card. Four copies of Furious Furious Claw Star Vader Niobium. Um, really like this card. Um, you know, if you have it on the front row when you do your break ride and all that, you're, he's going to gain insane power. And then to wrap the grade twos up, three copies of Krypton, the 10K Vanilla. Now, people have asked, well, can I play Colony Maker in a Nebula deck? The answer is you can, 
it's just hard because you guys you got to remember Nebula. The one thing I did say that is bad about him is he has no way to lock the front row at all. He can only lock the back row, um, and he can only lock back row units one at a time for two counter blasts. Um, so, I mean, he's not. He's it's not really. Um, smart to play colony maker because you will eat away your counter blast pretty quick um and you need to be able to space them out so you can help maintain advantage um then going into grade threes it's uh pretty standard four copies of star vader infinite zero dragon this is the link joker break ride um plus 10k to the vanguard and you get to lock a front and back row you don't want a grade three rides it and then um, four copies of Star Vader, Nebula Lord Dragon. So Nebula Lord Dragon, we all know his limit break. Um, his limit break is is uh, during each of uh, during your turn, all of your front row Link Joker units receive 3,000 power for each locked unit your opponent controls. And then his second ability is, like I said, you get to counter blast two and lock a unit in the back row. Um, so that's you know. It's good. You just have to be able to space the lock out. That is the that is one of the number one things that you need to be able to do if you play Link Joker. Is you need to be able to space the lock out, or and and be able to lock consistently. If you push all of your lock power out at once and you get one good turn out of it and it doesn't win you the game, you know you're kind of left with nothing so the best thing to do is when you play a nebula lord deck you need to be able to go slow and just space it out so there is one other thing i want to mention as soon as i find that damn thing okay there it is there is a card out now do, 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 do. i got these when i went to the tournament in Houston, and uh, that is uh, Binary Star Twin Gunner. That's what he looks like. It was one of the promos that we got. It is a pro it is a grade 3 promo for Link Joker. If For those of you who may not know what he does, I'll read him real quick. His ability is Limit Break. Um, if you, you may Counter Blast 2 and Soul Blast 2 to lock two units um, of your opponents, one in the front row and one in the back row. Um, and then his other ability is um, when he attacks, you can take one of your Link Joker rear guards, move it into the soul, and he gains plus 5,000 power. So if you wanted to play this deck with him, the only real change I would make is I would take out the four nebulas and put in the binary stars. Uh, that is how I would play it. Like... Um, I mean, that, that to me is what I would do, but, you know, you're free to do anything or try what you think would be best for you. But if you do have this card you um, and you'd rather play it over Nebula, I even thought about possibly going two apiece, but I would just rather just center the deck around Nebula. Um, you know, but, uh, that's just, that's just me. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. So, um, if you did enjoy it, please, uh, thumbs, thumbs up, th blah, 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 thumbs it up for me. And, uh, always leave feedback in the comment section below, like I always ask. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to, uh, if there's another Link Joker deck profile that I have not done, because I, I did a Schwarzschild deck profile a long time ago. I've done uh, Nebula. I've done Chaos Breaker. If there's one that you can think of that I haven't done, which I really don't think there is, um, feel free to ask me, and I'll do what I can to do it. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up this video for me for deck profiles, all kinds of fun stuff, and I'll see you later.